山形ドキュメンタリー道場っていうのは、えー、山形県の蔵王温泉という山に囲まれた静かな場所にアジアの映像制作者をお招きして滞在していただくアーティストレジデンスなんですがこれは日本であの初めてドキュメンタリー映画に特化したレジデンシーです。第一个，我我虽然是电影工作者，但是我一直都是做剧情长片。在台湾的时候，好像年复一年、日复一日都在忙碌，能够专心在我们现在单独一个案子，就不会有任何琐事来干扰你。Sometimes even when you go to film festivals, you have the chance to talk to other people, but not to have breakfast with them, like when you're still a bit sleepy. <laughs> And you have to do coffee or cook for them. I think it's very helpful for us. It's what uh, it's what uh, gives nutrition to our inspiration. Because as a single mother, you know, basically you don't have your own time. Because the everyday travels just consume all your energy. You cannot concentrate on creating things or think about oh, what is my story? What I'm going to tell the story is impossible because well, every day is like ah, like this. And then I would cherish the time and work hard to think, 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 think. My project is called Sorry Number no. Fifty Five, and it's a short film about my late mother and her relationship to our family house now as it prepares to be renovated five years after her passing. I think I really wanted to uh, uh, meet the other filmmakers and the mentors and just talk. <laughs> I, I think that Zhao is actually such a perfect place to um, have these discussions and meet and. Sit in the hot spring and, and talk. Um, so that uh, was really why I thought this would be a great opportunity. Yeah. Mm. I love uh, environment, nature. I think I I uh, go to jogging in the morning. Mm. Yeah, that's a. Uh, Give me the power to uh, editing. Um, I think time is the uh, luxury thing. Even we have some misunderstanding or some thing to discuss or disagree with, we cannot escape. We have to be here. So <laughs> uh, I can I can escape <laughs> to the lake. I will follow you. <laughs> <laughs> I can jump too, I have legs. <laughs> あの道場にはまあいくつか要素があるんですけれども一つ特徴的なのはワークショップですねあの世界の最高峰の映像業界のトップの人たちをお招きするのとそれから日本の制作者もお招きして新職を共にしながら滞在していくことであの刺激をあの与え合うっていうそういうようなプロジェクトもあの一環になっているんです。I'm Shun Gezoe. Uh, I'm a filmmaker, uh, uh, 8mm film, film camera. But this film is from the summer, and I've been to the summer, and I've been to the summer, and I've been to the summer. The dream of the summer is that I've been to the summer, and 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 I've been
called、uh, My Awkward Relationship with the Nations. The documentary is a little bit of 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 a l i t t l of a l i t t l of a l i t t e bit of a l i t t e bit of a l i t t e サポートいただいて、私はすごくあの呼んでいただいて、あの本当にラッキーだったなと思います。ありがとうございます。僕の企画は福島がフィールドです。えっ、ー、と、まあ僕は震災以降福島にずっと生き続けてきて、一本映画を作ったんですけども。自分とその福島とのつながりをずっと考えながら作ってきましたやっぱり一人で作っているとこのやり方でいいのかとか迷いがあるんですねでもその今日あのゲストの方々が自分の今のやり方でいいと肯定してくれたので、まあ、単純にその勇気をもらえたというか、うん、あの嬉しかったですねカラスのこの生活っていうのとそのホームレスの生活っていうのがやっぱり重なる部分があって今作ってる作品は、まあ、その遊戯公園に住むあのホームレスの人とカラスと富裕層っていうとあと都市っていう4つのキーワードで映像を作れないかっていうふうにして今やってる段階ですね。Okay, so the, my project is about Fukushima, and、uh, actually, I'm going to finish this eight years project and、uh, five films. So, five films. The book of the book is about Fukushima. The book is about Fukushima. メインで今回は発表しましたけども他の方のプレゼン聞く中で自分に問いかけられているような質問たくさんあったんでやっぱりあの実際に見てもらうことでその中で話すことでその先どうやっていくかっていうところでもうちょっと頑張ろうっていうかあのすごいこうエネルギーはもらえましたね。This is the second time I have been、uh, to the Yamagata Documentary Dojo. It's sort of、uh, by a stroke of chance that I'm here. I think one thing that, I, that is very strong with me this time we are helping not just to shape a project or to, to, to give some advice or whatever or some feedback,、uh, but we may be helping. Uh, of sharing with the person his or her life journey. But this is a very unique place, you know. You can just, you know, just chill and relax. So you are just happy to open your heart and just ready to talk about your concerns and worries or with your colleagues so that you can just get the better ideas. So I think it's a very you know, unique. Place and the opportunity for every filmmaker. I definitely would recommend to other filmmakers. To be a good th- filmmaker, you have to know as much as possible. It's not only about the materials that you are shooting, but also the angle and point of view that you want to put in your film to build that connection with your audience. So I think that.、Uh, Impacts me very much for this experience for the dojo this time.、Uh, so, yeah, I really enjoy what I learned through spending time with all the Japanese and、uh, international filmmakers. So for the second session, I think I would like everyone to go outside and not talk. And you just find a, a, a place and you just stay and you listen and you just list up what you listen. えっとこういうドキュメンタリー道場の中でちょっと
趣が変わるのかもしれないけれども音を聞くということをテーマにしたサウンドウォークを実施しましたで、えっと、僕自身はあの主にこう、まあ、日本の島の連なりみたいなものを、まあ、録音を通じて、えっと、各地の伝承とか音響、まあ、そういったものを録音していくフィールドワークをしているので、まあ、これを機に、えっと、少しフィールドワークを始めるきっかけになればいいかなと思っています。I think it's a much, the dojo idea is a much better idea than a lab. In, for me, a dojo feels like it's a space where people are practicing at the same time, in the same space, sparring with each other, and you can see each other's what, what they're doing and you're doing, but you're doing it in a separate part. Um, that whole martial arts uh, idea is, I feel, a bit more appropriate to developing skills, especially given the variable quality of the productions. It seemed interesting to me. Um, to watch and to hear about. The camera is a dog, and the camera is a dog. 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 The dog is a dog. The camera 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 is a dog. で伝えることが何かがあって撮影するという行為なんでカメラってこうあるべきだってことを言いたいわけではないけれど人に伝えるために撮ってるんだよねっていうことだけは忘れてほしくない普通ドキュメンタリーのストレートなカメラっていうのは対象を写し取るってことじゃないですかコピーしてるわけで今僕をコピーしてる僕から何をもらうかってことですよねカメラと音でじゃあカメラをどう使うのかのみの人間とどう付き合うのか対象物をどう見つめてどういう関係を作った上でやるのかとか道具として使うカメラって一体何だろうっていうことについて、まあ、話したかったんでそれを少し話させてもらいました。Uh, is uh, uh, the presence of the filmmaker inside the films. And uh, obviously, I tend to be in my films. So, uh, but uh, make uh, films that uh, are supposed to change the world. I think that you can entitle my presentation. Uh, The, the filmmaker is always present. I don't make films on interesting issues uh, in all my films because uh, obviously if I'm involved then I'm, in, I'm there. So uh, 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 this is what have brought me to be present, which are, I, I guess are not very common. Uh, uh, for uh, documentary filmmakers, there's a, a tendency to to tell the truth. I, I, I hope this has uh, come across uh, in the workshop, and uh, and this is what I was trying to uh, deliver. Uh, with clap once all together in uh, in unison, okay. So I will say thank you very much for Yamagata Documentary Dojo. Yo, and then I will go from. So we clap it once. After that, yo. Yamagata Documentary Dojo, 皆さんありがとうございました。Yo. So now it's f、uh, fiction dojo. <laughs>
Dojo is the rare place on this planet. So that's really, really is the impression of Dojo for me, mm. that I can have a quiet time. Yeah, I can waste two kilos within one month. The vegetable and the fruits here is really, really mm. delicious. A dull hot spring keeps me warm every day. Hong Kong, Korea, and Singapore, Japan, many countries. This picture was taken at a small school in Sao. When I take a photo with them, they run to me. The children of Yamagata made me learn that actually start a conversation with someone is not difficult. We come from autumn and now we live in winter. So all the filmmakers really, really enjoy this uh, snow moment. This is uh, one of the many nights we spend just talking around this table. And we've had so many conversations over breakfast, lunch and dinner and long hours just talking about our project and about life. Thank you all for coming, you all filmmakers. <laughs> Uh, finally, we have come to the end of your stay. Uh, so from that screening, we actually learned a lot that there's, there's something that is impossible for the audience to understand. I expected that. I, I, I think that there's something wrong about the rough cut, but I couldn't figure it out because the it's the same thing like uh, you have something in your back but you couldn't feel <laughs> that it is. So you need someone else to, uh, to tell you that I was there. <laughs> so, um, after the workshop, we decided together that we're going to put all the comment and we're going to try to come up with something in response to all of those three comments. So um, in three weeks, we decided to try a new, a totally new approach and uh, maybe a shift of the structure of how we tell the story. I think the presentation that we had at the dojo was really like a turning point for me. And this is a very subjects very close to my heart, so during the presentation I cried for half an hour. Yeah. Somehow they, everyone managed to understand what I was saying. <laughs> um, talk about projects, you then go and eat together, and then you go into the onsen together, and you move from space to space together. I, it almost reminds me of um, being back in school in some ways. And I think I, I kind of uh, felt like at the end of it, I came out kind of like stronger. Almost, and uh, sort of, um, I, I felt like I could see things more clearly, um, and that was, yeah, it's so important. Mm. えっと、I think that reminds me that as a filmmaker, we always question the world through our film. But the most important thing is we must do constantly to ask ourselves why we have to make this film. 
as a filmmaker, you, when you making the film, you sometimes you have doubt because you know in the world every day there's a lot of things happen, and you always thought that oh, there's more important things happen. Maybe I should do that. If the the, the world is this big, and then we only can see the one spot in here, so if you can talk more, talk more with the others, you will know more about this world. So. So I think it's important to be here and then know that, okay, so my story, that there's some, the others also think that it's important to, to share about. Yeah, that was the, the first day we had the snow in Zhao, and then I went to lay by myself. And I stayed there just watching the snow falling down, and then I can feel my heart and soul also coming down, and then I can have the real conversation to myself. And I think that's the moment I knew why I have to make this film. And I think the picture reminds me of uh, African sayings and I would love to share to all of you, especially the filmmakers here. So the saying is, uh, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Thank you very much.